Oh, that looks familiar. Ah, budgie. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on, guys? <laughs> it's Jib here. Um, God, that's loud, isn't it? Um, I've been gone for a while, <laughs> but uh, I'm finally back. Uh, I've moved to San Francisco. I moved a couple hundred miles away, and I was literally in my apartment for like two months with like no furniture or like no bed. I was like sleeping on the ground and like with like a pillow. Like <laughs> it was pretty ridiculous. I was living uh, without a computer, without anything. So I know I promised I was going to do a couple of Let's Plays uh, back in like last October, and I still haven't gotten around to doing those. Uh, it's because I finally got a computer, and like so all my console stuff isn't here yet. So um, I I felt so bad it, because I just haven't uploaded anything. And <laughs> what was kind of cool is that like every day, like I'd get a little message on my phone and be like, "Oh, you have a new subscriber!" Like one or two, like every day, even though I hadn't uploaded since like October, and it's you know February now, the end of February. So I mean, I just felt so bad that I hadn't uploaded anything. I felt so bad to you who like for those of you who've like subscribed, like hoping there'd be new stuff. So I do want to do Metal Gear Solid 2. I do want to do uh, what was the other game I was gonna do? I don't know, there was another one, Metal Gear Solid 2, and I wanted to do, like, Final Fantasy 7, oh, uh, Code Ver Resident Evil Code Veronica, uh, Resident Evil 1, the GameCube remake, there's so many games I want to do, and I'm going to start doing those as soon as possible, um, but I don't have my consoles here yet, so I'm going to start doing things that I can do on my computer, and I have one thing, one game I've always wanted to give uh, more credit to was Halo, because I think it's one of those games that, like, people talk about the multiplayer, and they kind of just glaze over the single player campaign, and... Halo has an amazing story. It's an amazing story. I mean, I read a lot of science fiction. Like, I grew up on reading Dune and, like, stuff like Ender's Game. So, like, I'm huge to, like, science fiction um, book junkie. And the thing that people don't give Halo enough credit for is that it has an amazing science fiction story um, that, you know, people just kind of glaze over because everyone just talks about the multiplayer. So I'm going to do a Let's Play of the Halo series eventually. I'm going to start with Halo 1, might do Halo 2, and hopefully by then I'll have my consoles, so I'll be able to do some other games. But I do eventually want to get all of the Halo games done, because I think they're, it's a series that does not get talked about enough story-wise. So we are going to start this up. I'm going to start a new game. Uh, apparently it's letting me choose. We're going to do this on Heroic, um, just because I don't feel like dying every two seconds on Legendary. If that's cool with you guys. <sighs> so let's watch the story. I'm so glad to be back, guys. You have no idea how good this feels. I miss this so much. I'll shut up for a little bit, though. Whoosh! Cortana, all I need to know is, did we lose them? I think we both know the answer to that. <sighs> we made a blind jump. How did they... Get here first? The Covenant ships have always been faster. As for tracking us all the way from Reach, at light speed my maneuvering options were limited. We were running dark, yes? Until we decelerated, no one could have missed the hole we tore in subspace. So this game takes place right after Halo Reach, by the way. They were waiting for us on the far side of the planet. So, where do we stand? Our fighters are mopping up the last of their recon picket now, nothing serious. But I've isolated approach signatures for multiple CCS-class battle groups, make it three capital ships per group. And in about 90 seconds, they'll be all over us. Well, that's it then. Bring the ship back up to Combat Alert Alpha. I want everyone at their station. Everyone, sir? Everyone. And Cortana. Hmm? Let's give our old friends a warm welcome. I've already begun. Attention, all combat personnel. Please report to your action stations. Now, now that I've been playing a lot of StarCraft, this game kind of reminds me of StarCraft now. Ship to two, secure airlocks on deck 11. 
So I don't know how well this is like translating into YouTube, but this game looks amazing on my computer. This looks way better than it did when I played it on the Xbox. You heard the lady! Move like you got a purpose! This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Man, here's where we show those split chin squid head sons of bitches that they could not have picked a worse enemy than the human race. We are going to blow the hell out of those dumb bugs until we don't have anything left to shoot them with. And then we are going to strangle them with their own living guts. That's Am vulgar. I right, Marines? Sir, yes, sir! Mm -hmm. Damn right I am. Now move it out! Double time! Attention all personnel. We are re-engaging the enemy. When you consider this game is like 10 years old, it actually doesn't look that bad. All you greenhorns who wanted to see Covenant up close! This is gonna be your lucky day! <sighs> okay. Whoa. Sure? Right. Let's thaw him out. Okay. Bringing low level systems online. Cracking the case in 30 seconds. He's hot! Blowing the pins in five! Woo woo! Hopefully they don't make me do the whole stupid... Alright, now they don't. So like I was saying, Halo has this huge, deep backstory to it. Uh, that, I mean, even in the games doesn't get properly uh, enough credit. I mean, they don't give enough time to the story, and especially in the first game. In the, in the second and third games they start, but... But as you can see, our ship is getting... Our ship is getting a little overrun here. Sir, the captain needs you on the bridge ASAP! Better follow me. Stay back. Come on. So I am playing this on heroic, so hopefully I don't die too much. And I've never played this on PC. Oh. I've never played this on PC. So the controls are a little weird. I spent a little bit of time trying to get used to them before I made this, but uh it's still a little weird. Like, I still want to press B to pick up weapons and stuff, and, uh, or X, I mean, and, and it, I don't know, it's just a little different. Captain Keys. Good to see you, Master Chief. Things aren't going well. Cortana did her best, but we never really had a chance. <laughs> a dozen Covenant superior battleships against a single Halcyon-class cruiser. With those odds, I'm content with three... make that four kills. Sleep well? No thanks to your driving, yes. So you did miss me. Report! It must have been one of their boarding parties. I'd guess an antimatter charge. Ma'am! Fire control for the main cannon is offline! Captain, the cannon was my last offensive option. All right, then. I'm initiating cold protocol article two. We're abandoning the auto. That means you too, Cortana. While you do what? Go down with the ship? In a manner of speaking, the ape <laughs> we found, I'm gonna try and land the autumn on it. With all due respect, sir, this war has enough dead heroes. I appreciate your concern, Cortana, but it's not up to me. Protocol is clear. Destruction or capture of a shipboard AI is absolutely unacceptable, and that means you're leaving ship. Lock in a selection of emergency landing zones, upload them to my neural lace, and then sort yourself for a heart transfer. Aye, aye, sir. Which is where you come in, Chief. Get Cortana off this ship. Keep her safe from the enemy. If they capture her, they'll learn everything. Force deployment, weapons research, Earth. I understand. The Autumn will continue evasive maneuvers until you initiate a landing sequence. Not that you'll listen, but I'd suggest letting my subroutines handle the final approach. Excellent work, Cortana. Thank you. Are you ready? Yank me. Good luck, Master Chief. 
floppy disk. Hmm. Your architecture isn't much different from the autumn's. Don't get any funny ideas. I don't keep it loaded, so you'll have to find ammo as you go. Whatever. Anyway. Um, so now the game begins, and the whole point is we need to get off this ship. What? No scooters on deck. Calico Cat. Jonesy. What the fuck is going on on this ship? <laughs> oh, man. The sensitivity on this mouse for Those some reason is some ridiculous. Help, do what you do best. Makes it a little harder than what I'm used to to play. <laughs> okay. So like, I could try to fill you guys in on the backstory here. Um, it kind of seems ridiculous because it seems like everyone's played Halo, so everyone should be familiar with the story, but if there are a few of you out there who haven't played it yet. Basically, humankind uh, found these aliens that we're fighting right now called the Covenant. But it's actually a group of different species of aliens, you know? So it's not just like one alien species. It's kind of like an, uh, like a UN <laughs> for all sorts of alien races. But they're called the Covenant, and they're very religious, yada yada yada. They're trying to kill us all a big war. You kind of get the idea. The reasons why and all that were is the point of the playing of the game. So we're gonna we're gonna get through that together. Calm down. Ah! That's right, bitch. What the hell? Did something just hit us? Move it back to the airlock. Uh, I'm still not used to the. That uh, sucks for you. Grenades. Uh, how did they all die? Pick up an overshield, gives me more shield life things, whatever. They're using our lifeboat airlocks to attach their boarding craft. We go out and they come in. Clever bastards. Oh shit, wrong button. <laughs> I think that's gonna probably happen a lot. So, if you guys didn't have the uh, the pleasure of playing this game when it first came out, and just like being completely blown away by it, I feel so bad for you because there was something, there was absolutely nothing like this when this game came out. I mean, this game just completely redefined what a first person shooter could be. Um, not so much story wise, but just gameplay wise, the AI was much smarter than uh, than A at the time. At the time this game came out, it was really common for games not to really have AI in the enemies. Like, they would just, you know, do the same thing. All the enemies would basically be on rails and would, uh, you know, shoot at the same places, be the same places at all the time. This game, it seems like the enemies really react to what you're doing. They find cover. If you throw a grenade, they run away. If you do this, they do that. You know, they kind of counter what you're doing and. It was really one of the first games that did that really well. So when this game came out, it was a huge deal. And I was never really into the whole like alien first person shooter thing. But just I played this game once at a friend's house and I was just so blown away by it, like I couldn't help but just, you know, wanna play it more and more. Oh no, get away! I think I stuck. Where'd he go? Bye. 